Young living every day, giving it to you and cutting straight. Now today, man, there's a video, man, about um, you know, D DJ Academics, man. You know, he went a little wild on um, Fresh and Fit podcast, and then you know he had some kind of heated um argument. I don't know if that was before or after the show, but um, listen, if this is your first time watching my video, or if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, take a second. Go down below, subscribe to the channel, support the movement. I appreciate that. Let's dive right into that, y'all. You feel like, you know what I mean, you be like in your feminine energy, like, you know, you know, feminine just... energy, and yes, nurturing, caring. Yeah. Of course, for the people that I love and care. The way you grabbing that mic right now, look like you like you you snatch some shit off the holy. What the <laughs> <laughs> holy. Holy. Shut up. No, no, no. I, I'm just trying to say. Listen, now, I, 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 okay, okay. So you want like what? What do you? What I just want to know why your voice is that fucking deep. No, listen, man. Come on, act. How can you ask somebody how their voice is that deep? It ain't, yo. It's not like we know, like like a, a person, a woman have control over how deep the tone of her voice is. Like she don't control that. She don't know how her voice got that deep. But let's continue, man. Let's continue, y'all. I, what oh, you do with your husband? What you do with your husband? What I do with my husband? Yeah. How does he submit to you? How? Kissing my fit. Taking you fuck care him? Of me? Do you fuck <laughs> your husband? No. What are you crazy? No, no, that's a good question. Because Wait, like, guys, this dude asks her, do she Fs her husband? Come on, act, man. Y'all, listen, man. I'm I, One thing I do is hold women accountable, man. But you, y'all being, y'all just too, dis, y'all disrespectful, dog, on a whole nother level, man. Y'all calling a woman a man and all this other stuff. That's a whole nother level of disrespect, though, for real. But let's continue. Submit's not that. Okay. It's, a, it's a man be willing to do anything for you. Oh, man. word. Yeah. Holy. That's what it submit. Okay, so so you so have a, they, you have a nigga like fresh sucking your toes. Yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. That's 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 sexy for a woman. Don't use my dog. Hey man, listen. I guess everybody got their preference, but this guy right here, I ain't sucking on no woman's toes. That ain't happening. I ain't going for that. But uh, continue though. You like what? it? Or, or it's my. Or, you know what I'm saying? Can we it's go to the chats, dog. man? I haven't enough of this, oh. man. <laughs> Cause oh, what? Goodness. Why? Like, you guys never heard about uh, a dog? I'm gonna keep it on hundred. Like, like if, if, yo, listen, I'm I'm on that finesse two times type of timing where you never had different types of sex. No, I don't fuck with no chick who sound like a nigga. That's just a hundred. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it on hundred with you. Wait, but, no, wait, we not wait. wait. Fuck all of that. Uh, fuck wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, cause I'm not asking you to. Fuck no, 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 no. I don't like disrespect, and I'm come correct. No, no. But see, this is the thing. Like he said, I don't mess with a girl who sound like a dude. She said you don't have to. See, you disrespecting her, and all she doing act, she matching your energy. So you can't be salty, man. Y'all coming to her like that. I got to give her props. She holding her ground extremely well. When people laughing, she's being very stoic. So I mean, obviously, say she say she out, but she's sure acting like it right now. <laughs> Let's be all the way real. Continue. I'm not. I'm not trying to disrespect yeah. you. I'm, I'm asking true. how yes, you and your are. situations yes. get down, or people like you. How I'm trying people, to come to understand it. How people like me? Uh, Money, you sound sound. You, you sound masculine they, because of my personality and who I am, not oh, because of how it sounds. Like, true. That's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, that makes sense, though. They like it because of her personality or the type of person she is, not because of the way she sounds. Now, say she have a good personality and she's really pleasant to be around and she's peaceful, then that's probably why they like her. Just because she got a deep voice don't mean that she's not pleasant to be around. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how Act taking that, man. And, you know that, But like I said, they throwing Act, Sneeko throwing the shots at her, but she holds her ground extremely well, man. So she just matching y'all energy. Like I said, let's continue. Rush. Oh, Mike James says free Sneeko, Vice Patron, and Creativity Kit. That's a dog mark video. How did you say that? Yo, also, so Dude says Sneeko, ever since you met Tate, you've had an extra step of pepping your step. Is that true? Top G. 
I've got a Bugatti. I've got all these supercars. I've got all these girls. Why would you talk to me in that the manner? There's Pop Smoke sitting to the left of me saying I have a shrimp dick. I'm not going to tolerate no disrespect. She's being racist. Yo, I wish I was drinking. God, come back. <laughs> you, hear, you hear Mike Rasheed? He said, what was y'all drinking, man? Because he know y'all on the show tripping. He like, man, what is wrong with these niggas, man? What have y'all been drinking? Notice, you see how Mike Rasheed calm, him and Brandon... They both calm, laid back, just observing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's Nico and, 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 and academics is turned up, man. That's why Mike Rasheed, like, what was y'all drinking? <laughs> Continue. Oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That was really good, bro. That was really good, yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yo, where the muscles? Yeah. Where the muscles at? What's up? Yeah. Where the <laughs> put this nigga in the gym. <laughs> she said, "Put this nigga in the gym." Now, listen. She just giving y'all back what y'all giving her. Y'all saying y'all talk about how manly she is. Talk about her voice. So she's striking back. You get, you got to give her uh, her props. Like I say, I am. I don't believe in the whole woman alpha thing, but I tell you one thing: she's definitely conduct, conducting herself like one. Let's continue. You've been in Miami a bunch of times. Look like you had a ratchet ass panel tonight, nigga. <laughs> I see a name tatted on her. I'm seeing. I'm, I'm just looking around. Actually, I got a question because we were talking about shrimps. <laughs> That's so a though. name tatted on you makes you ghetto. Back yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, yeah. toxic. Can we ask? I, I want to ask, especially uh, shrimp thick over here. Does size matter? No, oh, I man. Why y'all keep calling her? Sh why y'all keep calling her shrimp dick, man? This is a female dog. I, I understand, man. I understand, but goodness, y'all striking hard at this woman, man. She ain't even saying it. She just giving the energy that y'all giving to her. Of course. Okay. Well, what's your ideal because, size? Because, like, with a shrimp, what the fuck you gonna do? Exactly. So, what's your what's your ideal I, size? I want to know, like, how you please girls with a shrimp thick. <laughs> exactly. So, so what's the ideal <laughs> size for the chat watching and everybody here? Um. What's the I have size? my own preference. It's like every girl are different. So, so what's your preference? Doesn't Holy. matter. No, no, tell that, no tell that nigga. No, tell that nigga. He been thinking about the surgery. Tell that nigga. Tell him. You can't match the energy, bro. Like, that's Holy. what it is. So what is your ideal size so I know so I can attach whatever? I'm not interested. I'm married. Okay. So. Got to give her her props, man. You know, whoever her husband is, man, I, hey, respect to her because one thing for sure and one thing for certain is she on a panel full of successful men with status and she's still saying that she married. Like, I'm not interested. Got to give her respect for that, man. Hypothetically, for the chat and everybody watching, and so that we could actually ask a question right now, you're married. What's your ideal size? My husband's size. Oh. And I'm that's a great, that's a good answer right there. Good answer. I'm not going to say here because we public, so. Okay. Six? No well, answer? How you please girls like that? Like you, okay. you just you're not answering the question. Or you, what's your ideal in. size over here? Yo, I ain't even trying to get too TMI. When you fucking a nigga sucking his dick, <laughs> real rap, is your voice that fucking deep? Or at least you got like the we're fucking voice. Why? You want me to make a little bit of noise? No, like I'm not. I'm just saying. Fuck? If yeah. I heard Pop Smoke talking from heaven while I'm stroking, I'm soft. <laughs> real rap. If I heard Pop Smoke talking from heaven when I'm having intercourse, I'm soft. Come on, act, man. Uh, if you're not interested in the girl, just let it be what it is. I can see if she start off attacking you. Y'all just keep going at this woman, man, and she ain't even done that wrong to y'all, man. <laughs> she said she married. She happily married. Hey, man, continue. <laughs> what do you have to lose some weight until you can see your dick, nigga? Oh. Oh. Now, you can't be mad. You were striking at her. Talking about pop smoke from heaven. Rest in peace to pop smoke. Talking about dude, you no, know, hear pop smoke from heaven while... She, you know, giving you gog gog 3000. She strike back and said that you fat and you need to lose some weight. You can't be salty. I mean, she just giving y'all what y'all gave her, man. That's what it is. Continue. Oh, oh, she got egg face. He's salty. <laughs> man, all she did is give you what you gave her, man. You started it. You started it, dog. She's striking back with she's striking back with vengeance. I'm telling you. Continue. Oh, shit. So now nah, he saw that his ego hurt. Now you got to keep it real, act man. She getting to you, dog. Your ego hurt now. 
So, 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 so you're saying, oh, no, no, no. You think I'm, wait, wait, so you're saying that if I lose some weight and I become your broke ass, bitch ass boyfriend, <laughs> right? Oh, shit. No. Nope. And I start fucking with a masculine bitch like you mm. with fake titties, mm. right? With a fucking tattoo on your face. Yeah, oh, nigga. Right? Masculine as shit. Yes. How are you going to be sounding? How am I going to be sounding? Act like, what kind of question is you asking, man? Like, I, I'm not understanding how you asking her how she's going to sound with a deep voice when she's with her guy. Like, act, man, what you doing, man? <laughs> Dog, you tripping, man. Look at Mike Rashid. He's like, I don't know what this nigga doing. Continue. Yeah, well, go, what the point. fuck? Or it's it's different, like you know what I'm saying? Everybody n- bitches like fat niggas like you, so what's the problem? Niggas bitches a rich nigga like me. Rich? I bet your boyfriend ever like me. the matter? I bet your boyfriend ever like me. She, hey, she struck it back hard, act man. She <laughs> You said she said, Well, what's the matter then? He can't fuck me better than you would. So, <laughs> but I bet you live in a fucking Section Eight housing, and I live in a fucking mansion with. Anyway, yeah, no, right, uh, oh oh you were still, you were still unhappy. Oh, no, no, no. If you wasn't unhappy, it wasn't be, being being aggressive oh, in the room. Ooh, she said, even with all that money, you still unhappy because if you wasn't act, you wouldn't be aggressive and rude. Man, listen, man, she she um she matching your energy, dog. You coming at her grimy? I mean, gr- aggressive. And she come back at you, man. She can see right through you. She's saying with all that money, dog, you still unhappy, man. You're I'm going to have to get a bit of my... Y'all, y'all turn my shit up. I love this. You still unhappy, like happy, baby. Like, you got you got to stop, like, be acting, like, weird. No, 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 just no, 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 happy. no, no, no. Hey, I can't lie, though. I, listen, I can't lie, man. Act, you are asking some really weird questions. Talking about how, do she, how does that deep voice translate when she having intercourse with her dude. Like, if she's married... And you say you're not into her, then why do you care about how she sound when she have an intercourse with her guy? You see what I'm saying? That's that's a strange question to be asking, man. So you can't you can't knock her for that. You come in at her very disrespectful for no reason, and then you asking her weird questions. So she looking at her like dog, you got all this cash, but you still unhappy. She's seeing right through you, man. That's just what it is. It's I'm, not my problem if you weren't happy. Like I'm very happy I'm, with I'm, my I'm, life. What do you think happen? Because you're doing that, like oh, being no, no, weird. no, no, no. I'm asking you a question. You sound so like, hold on, no, no, relax. She just answered your question, man. She said because you being weird, dog. You asking strange questions. She said, "I'm happy with the way my life is going." And the whole time you've been bashing her, she been stoic the whole time, man, holding her ground. That's yeah, just keeping it real, man. Relax, Your mm-hmm. man ain't here, okay. and he couldn't. He couldn't afford to get in this building. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you this. I'm oh asking God. you, who said this was like It's mad disrespectful, boy. You, bro, you just a fuck up. Stop playing. Oh. Stop playing. Oh. Yo, my, my nigga done fucked you, nigga, like in the oh. ABM. Get the fuck on that. Oh, oh, wow. Actually, you actually, you should know. 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 You this is what happened, y'all. Act start coming at the, the Brazilian girl with the deep voice, as he would call her. Start coming at her disrespectful. So she came back at you disrespectful. She matched his energy. But see, he was getting emotional. She stayed stoic the whole time. And he realized the thing that he was doing to her wasn't working. And so what happened? He took it out on the next best person that he could. And it was somebody who he felt like he had some leverage or some dirt on which was the girl with the afro and she just held him accountable and then he just lashed out on her because the brazilian girl got him out of his character let's continue though let's continue a little bit my boy fucked you the airbnb that i rented nigga that i paid nigga that i paid the whole money don't come over here talking that shit all she said act was that you were being disrespectful man and you was, man. You was coming very strong. And listen, for all everybody out there that's always telling me, oh, man, you hate women. You hate women. You hate women. 
Nah, dog. All I me see, I hold women accountable for their bad decisions. That's what I do. Cause society ain't gonna do it. And these icy blue pill beta saps let them do whatever they want. Me, I hold them accountable for their bad decisions. But as far as being disrespectful, taking it that far, absolutely not. I'm against that. And that's for anybody who don't know me who assume my content is to hate women. No, it's holding women accountable and acknowledging bad behavior, weight, raising that awareness to men so that they can know how to move and how to filter out these women who are bad bets for giving commitment, relationships, your energy, attention, and time to. Now, this guy, not only is disrespecting the other girl on camera, the Brazilian woman, Brazilian woman stays stoic. The other girl just said that you're being disrespectful. And then he says, shut the F up. For no, just, just going off on her, talking about my homeboy smashed you in the Airbnb that I'm paying for. So not only that you disrespecting the, the girl act, you disrespecting your homeboy, you putting him on blast because you making it seem like you sunning him because you saying you paying for the Airbnb for her to smash. So you making your homeboy look like he broke and he ain't got his stuff together and he needs you to pay for his living. The whole old girl left the show and said he didn't smash. I don't know who telling the truth, whether it's you or the, or, or the girl. But what I am saying is, man, I got to keep it all the way real with you, man. Act. That ain't cool, man. You came in mad disrespectful. It was one thing to ask questions, hold women accountable, but you coming in too aggressive and too disrespectful, man. That's just a fact. You you made your home, whoever your homeboy is, you made him look bad and you disrespected that girl and a Brazilian girl who been being stoic the whole time, dog. I'm going to be all the way real with you. I respect every man that got money, status, got their stuff together, man, but that ain't no solid move you just did right there, dog. Act, that wasn't cool. We got to keep it all the way real, man. My wild E facts. I hold everybody accountable. That ain't, that wasn't cool, man. That ain't solid. All that cap you been doing on all motherfucking fresh and fit. Yeah. Big Ack is here now. Oh, yeah. My nigga fucked the shit up. Yo, the nigga gave you a fucking roach, bitch, and he fucked the shit out of you. That's facts. Oh. And say somebody. Oh. Say somebody. Oh. That's why you off camera. Facts. Oh. <laughs> That's why you're okay. off camera. Get on camera. We can talk about it. So, Get on camera, we talk about it. I face my nigga right now. So we can I face I'm like, y'all niggas say you had the loosest pussy he fucked in 10 years, nigga. Get on camera and talk about it. Thought so. We'll talk about it. Okay. All she said was, man, you was being mad disrespectful, man. You ain't have to do that girl like that. I'm one to do the whole women accountable, but exposing women like that for just saying that you was being disrespectful. Nah, man, that, that you took it too far, dog. You took it too far. Another thing, too, when you go on a show like that and you're going that aggressive on a female and, and he's embarrassing a woman like that, that could potentially make girls don't want to come on the show once they see this um this episode or the women who do come on the show to be real timid, quiet, not even wanting to ask questions, engage in conversation or give politically correct answers and lie because they're afraid that when they say something, that they're going to be put on blast. But the thing is, act man, let's keep it all the way real, man. That that ain't that ain't solid. Hey, is he coming back? I don't think so. Where my phone? All right, fresh oh, up. Yeah. Oh, fresh. Exactly. Okay, so uh this oh, one, oh, we not done. <laughs> yeah, we're not done. This nigga ain't We not done. We not done. Stick though. You saw you on the show? Learn from big acting. Yeah, I, I could see your pubes through your panties right now. I'm not going to lie. Come on, man. Dude, Sneeko, you can see her pubes through her panties. Man, come on, Sneeko, man. Y'all y'all, y'all doing too much, man. Y'all tripping, man. What is what is, what is, is y'all talking about, man? Continue. Hey, like the light sure showing. I don't sure know how you fit on a plane with that BBL and your, your boobs what? are bumping into the mic. But I, I legitimately know that, like, not even trying to rip you. Like, I can see your whole bush through your pants. No, Sneeko, no, this is I, I can't. I can't. Like, right now, like, right now, like, right now, I, I can see. Okay. What the fuck's going on right now? Okay, okay. You heard what, you heard what Mike Rasheed said? Real shit. What the fuck is going on right now? What is y'all niggas talking about, man? Come on, man. You can see her pew through her panties. Come on, Sneeko, man. You better than that. Act, she's got a deep voice, and then you disrespecting the other girl on camera. Y'all doing too much, man. Y'all mad disrespectful, man. <laughs> Let's continue. 
But we're gonna end this show. No, 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 Guys, no, 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 Stop it. Yo, Dumb. we don't I don't we don't take no disrespect lightly here, period. That shorty got up on her. Matter of fact, the moment she saw my face, she was trying to get off camera. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Look it up. Nigga, you know why? She been you with the fucking case. Sneeko mentioned it. Facts. Bitch, Silky was all your fucking guts. That's fact. You won't get back on here and talk about it. Oh. Hey, I did notice in the beginning part though that when as soon as he came on, she kind of like got off. But even still, if that did happen, man. That wasn't cool, man. All she said was that you was being disrespectful. And let's keep it all the way real, man. Let's keep it all the way real. You was being disrespectful, man. Facts is facts. Because oh, I was that shit. Don't come on here talking all that bullshit. Y'all can lie to Myron. This big act in the building, nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> anybody, anybody got <laughs> something to say? Hold on. Anybody got something to say? Yo, cut that bitch, Mike. I never heard about you. I'm sorry. Bitch, we never heard about you. Yeah. <laughs> you a masculine looking bitch with a face tag nigga and some fake titties, my nigga. We think you're a nigga. And to keep it real, we need a DNA nigga, no, test. Bitch. Oh, real shit. What's going on? And look, the whole time he doing that, hold up. Look, look at her though. We're going to rewind this a little bit. Don't come on here talking all that bullshit. Y'all can lie to Myron. This big act in the building, nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> big, what is the point of all this, man? Like, nobody's yelling and screaming at you. No, None of these girls are saying anything. Like, what is your reason for doing all this yelling? You the loudest person in the room for no apparent reason, man. <laughs> Notice her. She stand, like I said, she stands stoic the whole time. Watch this. Hold on. Anybody got something to say? Hold on. Anybody got something to say? Yo, cut that bitch, Mike. Anybody got something to say? Shorty. That's bullshit. Shorty. 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 Um, American media. I'm not sure, but if she's not in that world, then she probably wouldn't know who he is, though, for real. Let's continue. I'm not sure. We never heard about you. Yeah. <laughs> you a masculine looking bitch with a face tag, nigga, and some fake titties, my nigga. We think you're a nigga. And to keep it real, we need a DNA nigga, no, test. Bitch. Oh, real shit. Look at her. She she not getting you not getting her out of her character. Notice act you the whole one yelling the whole time. Old girl, quiet. She 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 holding frame. And you already know if you got to yell and scream at a female when a female being calm, you lost all the leverage, bro. That's just the real. Let's be all the way real. Let's see what Mike talking about. What's going on right now? What is niggas doing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard what Mike said? What's going on right now? What is niggas doing? AKA, y'all niggas is tripping for no reason. These girls are not even saying anything. The women are quiet. She only, she only talking, she only giving, the Brazilian girl only giving the same energy that you giving. You yelling, screaming, slamming your hand on the table. And look, she stands stoic the whole time, dog. Let's be real, man. If you want to be real, hey, she had the outfit energy. Let's keep it all the way 100, man. Because you yelling and screaming and she calm the whole time. <laughs> Continue. What's so the point of this Why is that no, one of the women we to cancel no, this nigga? You heard what Mike just said, Mike Machine said. Community will only jump in if you admit you a nigga. Are you a <laughs> nigga or are you a girl? Yeah. If you a nigga, they'll hop in. They, they will hop in because you're talking about them. You're talking about Look at Mike. Mike put it, took his headsets off and left. He left like, what is niggas doing? This shit is beneath me, man. This shit is beneath me. And it's late at night. What is you doing? You sitting here yelling and screaming with a girl for no apparent reason. She ain't done nothing wrong to you, man. <laughs> act, man, you got to hold this L, dog. You got to be held accountable for this, dog. This, this wasn't cool. This ain't solid at all. This woman made you like a straight up sucker, man. Let's keep it all the way real. About trans women, that is, is I think you're a nigga. I just say I think you're a nigga. 
All right, uh, uh, first you're talking you. about transgender <laughs> women. Man, get the fuck out of here. Don't ever mention the fucking bum-ass boyfriend. That's going to have to hold that L right there, man. That woman held her ground. But look, man, we about to dive into the next, um, you know, video. It was supposed to be like some altercation with uh, academics and some girl. Come on, act man. You didn't put your hands on the girl a little bit, dog. Why you yelling and screaming? She took your hat off your head and threw it, dog. If you yelling and screaming at a female, and then she take your hat off your head and throw it, she don't respect you, man. Let's keep it all the way real, dog. You yelling and screaming at these girls, and listen, like again, I respect every man getting money, but act, I ain't never seen this energy from you, man. When it came to another guy, man. On, on everyday struggle. I ain't see you pull up on Joe Buns like that, man. Never. I'm just keeping it all the way real, man. <laughs> all this yelling and screaming at women and stuff like that, dog. Like that's <laughs> that ain't that ain't how you handle it as a guy, man. You can't be letting these women get you out of your character. Yelling and screaming. Continue. Dude, this girl got a black and mild in her mouth while she hitting her. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that a black and mild? She put a black and mild, or it's what, what she put a black and mild or a blunt in her mouth while she's fighting. <laughs> Y'all gotta get a passport. This is why this is out of control. You got a black and mild in her mouth while she's fighting. Listen, man. Act. Man, you got status, you got money. There's no way in the world that you should be dealing with women like that, man. You yelling and screaming, you talking about how you the prize and all this other stuff, man. Say you the prize as a guy, man, you don't got to express that. Say you got money as a guy, you don't got to express that. Say you that guy, you ain't got to be yelling and screaming at these girls, man. Listen, I'm going to be all the way real. When a woman got respect for you and they admire you and they look up to you, dog, they're going to automatically get in line and follow your leadership. If she ain't willing to do that, you just got to respect the game and walk. That yelling and screaming at a female and then she taking your hat off, throwing it, she don't respect you, man. That's a clear indication of a female. You right there square in her face. Yelling and screaming, she take your hat off and throw it. And then she punched the other girl that's with you. She don't respect you, man. And that's a firm indication of you. That's a reflection of you, man, and the choice of women that you choosing. To hang around. See, as a guy, you got to understand, y'all, the one, the word is powerful. I, you don't have to yell and scream at a female to get your point across. I ain't got to yell and scream at no woman to get their point across. They're going to feel this masculinity. I ain't got to do all that. If you got status, money, you yelling and screaming at a girl, you ain't happy, man. You already at a disadvantage. And like the girl was saying on the Fresh and Fit podcast, you unhappy, dog. And I, I'm going to be real with you. It's looking that way because you call on a podcast, you're supposed to be a successful man that got your stuff together with status, a big part of the media, and you're going back and forth with a female that, that's married already. You said you wouldn't date her. Why y'all go this far to bash her, calling her a man? And that's why Mike Rasheed looking at y'all like, man, what is, what is y'all doing? He get up and leave, man. You see what I'm saying? This is this not how you handle it as a guy. And me, I'm really, like I said, I am really, really one of the ones to hold a woman accountable for their bad decisions. I stand on that. But one thing I ain't going to do is be trying to disrespect and take it too far with a woman, man. Yeah, you hold them accountable for their bad decisions because they delusional, sure. But all this, like, disrespecting a woman, calling her a man, that's going too far. That's taking it too far. Holding them accountable, being realistic, yeah. 
but we know she's not a man. Let's keep it all the way real, dog. She got, like uh, Fresh says, she got a kid. She's married. You know what I'm saying? But listen, y'all, man, I just wanted to put that out there. Again, I'm all about, for everybody watching, listen, this ain't the hate women. We hold women accountable for their bad decisions. Raise awareness to men of woman nature and the bad things that certain women do so that men can save themselves the energy, attention, time, and waste of money. And I advocate overseas because when you go overseas, not only you get these women, that's a fat cherry on the top, but it's a lot of great things that come with that from a financial standpoint, from a, ta a tax standpoint that you get to gain. You get to deal with a better culture and more quality women. That's that's the cherry on top. This girl had a black and mild or something in her mouth while she was swinging on the girl. This <laughs> this ain't the kind of behavior that you want to have to, that you want to deal with as a guy. No man that got money, status, energy, attention and time, resources should have to deal, shouldn't be dealing with no woman like that anyway. I wouldn't even be dealing with no female who even hang around girls like that. You see what I'm saying? Who even think that way? Who even speak that way? For all you men, like I said, before I get out of here, I just want to say this, man. Get your passports, man. Get your money on point. Get in shape, get a passport, do your research on the place you want to go, lock in and link in with people or expats that's from the states that live in these countries, man, who can give you the information you need to before you go over there so you can lock in and know how to move around. Somebody who got experience in that area. But listen, that's all I got to say about that, y'all. Listen, I appreciate the support. Again, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man on a road to 1K subscribers so I can get monetized. The more I get from y'all, the more I can give y'all. Subscribe to the channel, man. But that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.